Hi, this is an add-on to my little Arduino Nano personal computer I've built in the last episode of this mini-series. If you haven't seen it, I recommend checking it out before you proceed. In short, an Arduino Nano is generating a stable 320 by 200 pixel monochrome video output, reads a PS2 keyboard and runs code in the background. Nice! But anything without colors doesn't count as a real computer, right? Well, let's see how we can pimp this Arduino Nano PC to display its simple world in 16 colors. We need to take a closer look at the VGA pixel data first. Right now we are feeding it simultaneously into all three color channels in order to get white characters. In the VGA standard, the saturation level for each color channel is 0.7 volts peak to peak into a 75 ohms input impedance. All three inputs in parallel amount to a total impedance of 25 ohms, so by using a 150 ohms resistor in series, we can form a voltage divider that converts our 5 volt pixel signal to 0.7 volts. But what I want to try now is to have the Arduino output a preselected 4 bit color and use the pixel data to just switch this color on and off via end gates. This way we can retain our horizontal resolution of 320 pixels. We'll only be able to set a single color per row since the Arduino doesn't offer enough dynamic RAM to store color information for each character. Anyway, let's give it a try. Here's a schematic. I've chosen the resistor values in a way that the red, green or blue channel alone outputs about 65% of the maximum signal level and the grey bit adds the remaining 35% resulting in a brighter palette. Ok, let's start modifying the black and white version from the last episode. I have disconnected the VGA connector for a moment and rerouted a couple of wires to free up some space on the breadboard. This orange wire here is the pixel data line. Now the first problem is that we need another four free output bits on the Nano, which we currently don't have. Remember how we were able to reuse two bits of the parallel pixel output on port D to read in keyboard data at the end of a scan line? Let's just reuse another four bits like this by connecting the keyboard bits 5 to 2 to port D with 1K resistors. I'll be using this 74HC08 quad end gate to switch the four color bits on and off with the pixel data signal. Let's reconnect the monitor and take a look. Yeah, that's awesome, we have colors now. The picture appears a bit dim in my video footage here, but on my monitor uh, the colors actually look nice and saturated. Given that we've only used one more IC for this simple color mod, I think it's worth it. It just adds this extra bit to the small games and demos. As always, you can download the schematics of my Arduino color PC as well as the sketches I've just shown from my GitHub repository. Just follow the link in the video description. Take care. Bye.